Hi guys, in today's video I would like to talk about some books and movies, documentaries I've been watching or reading lately uh, regarding wine. So many of you uh, sometimes ask me about uh, which book you will recommend if I'm a, a wine enthusiast and I just want to, you know, read about wines or which documentary would you suggest uh, to deepen my knowledge about wine. So um, I will not talk about the obvious one, like the wine Bible, the Atlas of Wines, or the wines you uh, use to prepare certifications like the WSET or the Court of Master Sommelier uh, book. Uh, you have to study to pass the certification. But I'm uh, suggesting like readings about wine and something maybe not so uh, obvious. Uh, I would like to start with the, my Italian wine bible which is Native Wine Grapes of Italy by Ian D'Agata. Uh, this is really everything uh, you need to know about Italian grapes. There are like more than 500 grapes, native grapes of Italy listed in this book. And it's really interesting. I mean, Ian D'Agata is really uh, knowledgeable about uh, Italian wines and grapes and he uh, describes the grapes but not only also the main producers and his uh, opinions about the wines he tasted of that particular grape so and there are a lot of um, interesting stories about how producers uh, like uh, saved from extinction some grapes that uh, otherwise would disappear uh, because nobody was cultivating uh, that particular grape so i really suggest this and uh, with this one uh, i also suggest uh, italian uh, wine unplugged grape by grape which i don't have in a uh, let's say paperback here it is and uh, it's by Stevie Kim and some of my uh, Vinitaly uh, international ambassador colleagues and it's really well made um, also the structure of the book is really um, easy to to read and to memorize and you have like um, charts about uh, the main grapes and also an overview of the main uh, DOC and DOCG appellation of each region, which is really useful uh, to navigate through the um, numerous grape varieties. Another book I found really interesting is this one. Is there apple juice in my wine? Which um, is about 38 laws that affect the wine you drink in the US. So if you want to discover the weirdest and funniest thing about wine law in the US, this is the book for you. Uh, it's really amazing. I mean, I learned so much of, um, about uh, the law, uh, the wine law in the United States through this book. And uh, it's a easy reading. It's not like written in a, too difficult way to understand because it basically it's talking about laws, but it's really well done and well written by Jordan and Heather Lee. In the US, the region which produced the majority of the wines is California. And I came across this guide about Napa Valley, which is called Drive Through Napa by I Love This Grape. Um, I have the digital uh, edition here, but there is also a paperback edition and I will link everything below in the info box and in uh, my blog post, which is linked below. And it's a really nice guide to the sub-regions and uh, AVA of Napa Valley. It's really well made and uh, not only is informative, so about each um, AVA, for instance, Carneros, uh, Ocknoll, Yantwil, Stack Slips, etc. But uh, it, it gives you insight uh, through the voices of the winemakers. And the last one is not specifically about wine, but it's a novel. Uh, around the Italian cuisine and the Italian wines. The name is uh, Cucina Tipica 
uh, An Italian Adventure by Andrew Cotto, which is a best-selling author for New York Times. He wrote an, uh, other kind of novels, The Italian Wine and Off the Coast of Maine. So you have the, all the information below. But uh, it's a, an adventure story about an American who uh, goes to, to Italy for holidays and decides he will never leave. So it's amazing because it goes through um, the typical dishes, the wine region. So it's um, really, uh, it's not about wine, but there is a lot of uh, wine and food, Italian wine and food in this novel. So I thought it's funny, it's interesting. So maybe you would like to enjoy it. Moving on on uh, documentaries or movies, uh, of course, you have to see, to watch uh, some the series you can find it on netflix and i think also on amazon you have this plant you know for thousands and thousands of years i mean people have been dedicating their life to make something amazing out of it it is living art and you can't appreciate it until you consume it it's a lot more than just grape juice it's a drug really sommeliers are professionals that are supposedly experts about knowing about beverage and wine Psalms now have become the new rock stars in our industry. Some of the most dedicated, obsessed people. So there's this diploma called the Master Sommelier Diploma. It's the, um, basically the documentary about how uh, sommelier prepare high level certificates, in this case, the Court of Master Sommelier to become a Master Somme. Uh, so it's really uh, interesting to see uh, the amount of hours of study you have to put in these certifications and the amount of information you have to memorize and how this can uh, open your mind about uh, the most unknown wine regions. So I truly suggest to see some one, some two, and now some three. Another true interesting documentary is the Sour Grapes. Uh, it's about the scandal in the 90s uh, of this uh, Chinese guy who was a uh, basically replicating a very expensive uh, Burgundy wines and uh, sell them as they were authentic uh, at really high, high prices. But then um, it came out that it was a fraud. When you leave things unregulated, you allow the wolves to come in and game the system. Prices are skyrocketing. What if I told you that you could turn your love of wine into an investment return? Today, there is no relation between the prices and what is in the bottle. 20 grand for the bottle, and you want this. Boom, a 1019. We're talking about wine here. The auction scene really started in the 90s. The economy was booming back then. <laughs> Nice to see how the wine market works with these rare vintages and very precious wines. So I suggest to you watch Sour Grapes. And if you are passionate about French wines, uh, I suggest you watch uh, Wine Masters, the series. Uh, it's a five episode series about um, French wine regions. <laughs> Nothing is forbidden, but the soul, you have to keep the soul. It's just a detail, and I say precisely. The highest priced wines are coming out of Bordeaux. But the Chris, what did he do? He took the wine and said, it's my son. I love this profession. It's even not a profession. It's such fun. Wine's made with love. Yeah, I think that's a good definition of what makes a great wine. Bordeaux, Burgundy, Alsace, Rhone, and I think Loire. Uh, it's really nice. The, the, the documentary is really well made. Um, they go and interview the most famous producers of these wine regions and uh, the most famous sommelier of England uh, with their insights about these uh, wine regions. A more deep and complete description of everything, books and movies, is in my blog post linked below. So I suggest just you go and check it out also with the link to purchase or to find these uh, sources 
and if you have any book recommendation for me or any movie you think I should watch about wine I'm always eager to learn and to deepen my knowledge so please leave a comment below and if you like this video give me a thumbs up a like and I will see you in the next video